Yeah. So as we continue to climate proof our our country, uh, certainly we need to focus on energy development. And one of those methods that we are using is uh, the presidential uh, rural development program, which drills boreholes in each village. So the target is certainly 35,000 uh, villages, uh, which means 35,000 boreholes, but the borehole itself is not the project. The important thing is what the borehole causes. So the borehole causes establishment of a village business unit, if it's in a village, which is a one hectare irrigated plot. So that climate proofs the village. So currently we have done uh, just over 3,000 of the borehole drilling. We now follow that up with uh, equipping the boreholes to make them a village business unit or a school business unit or a youth business unit. So uh, for the equipped boreholes, now we are just over 700 of those boreholes that were drilled. 700 of them, 743, have been equipped now. So we are continuing to the equipment and also with the drilling. So now with the uh, drought, the Onino that we have just uh, witnessed, we are targeting to ensure that by November this year, we have uh, drilled and equipped 10,000 boreholes. And these are carefully selected um, boreholes and uh, village business units that we're going to do to ensure that all those drought-stricken uh, uh, ones are attended to. Mm -hmm. And we've already, after the second round of crop and livestock assessment, we've already identified those uh, uh, words that are in dire need of water, uh, both for livestock and for human beings. So we have identified these, and they are generally in the region four and five, uh, the dry, uh, the driest parts of the country. So we talk of uh, uh, Cholocho, Wolidima, Bait Bridge, Mnesi, and so forth. Those areas are really areas that are dry, and we are targeting those areas to ensure that we hit those hot spots to ensure that livestock and human beings get water and we are not, don't suffer the adverse effects of drought. But more than that, we also know that come summer, we have unlocked 10,000 hectares of irrigable land, which we can put to our uh, serious food security. So most of the dams have been uh, sited, and uh, dams are really big infrastructural projects. We, the resources to build dams they really are huge. So what we have uh, taken as a, as a stance is to ensure that we complete those that are not finished and we then add a few of those that need to uh, be constructed from scratch. So we have taken note of all the cited dams, uh, but we are also cognizant of the fact that we must finish, for example, Wai Shangani, Kunzi Dam, those projects must finish and then we move to the next uh, cited dams.